I'm here with um, Rick. How you pronounce it? Is it Rick? Avalos, yeah. Rick Avalos, one of the drive, one of the people who drove this. Um, no, what is this? No, what is this? Roadster. It's a Tesla Roadster. Tesla Roadster. Now, this, you told me you drove from Tucson, Arizona, to El Paso for about. 18, well, like, th day and a half, you say? Day and a half, correct. We, what we did was we, we wanted to make sure that we were able to give people of the area, particularly in areas of the, of the country that do not have exposure to the electric vehicle, uh, some education, give them a little bit of an opportunity to touch the vehicle, get a look at it. I mean, it was just really, really an, a really great ex educational experience for that part of the city, part of the country. Okay, so what, so what was the purpose behind this uh, trek from, was it California to, to Michigan? What we wanted to do is a, large, a lot of the large ex, uh, objections that we get about the electric vehicle is people want to, okay, we'll wait until we get an electric infrastructure. And what a lot of people don't realize is there is electric infrastructure pretty much all the way around. And as we were able to travel, as you do a little plotting, we were able to get RV parks in different places. And plus, what I think people don't really realize is that you could plug this into a 110 socket and it's that convenient. Now, where can they, now where can they plug this 110 socket at? If you, had, if you plugged it into a dryer or where we even actually plugged our camera in, uh, you could plug the car back into. I mean, it would take a little bit longer time, but it's actually you could actually do it, and it's that convenient. Okay. So how many people? So how many people besides including you drove this, we drove this truck? Had, we had 18 volunteers who took part in the in the uh, process, and we actually were able to, as you noticed, we got, I got our signatures all the way around it. Yeah, I could see that right there. I yeah. see that. And, and we uh, we want we were actually wanting to. Instead of getting professional drivers, we wanted to put our own employees in there so we would give people up realize that, you know, well, that way we, we show that our employees believe in the product as well. Okay, so um, do you guys like drove AT just like drove like straight or you guys uh, they had a little rest from between? What we had, uh, what we wanted to do is stop and have press days with like, and like for particularly in my, my uh, leg, my partner Mike Falcone and myself drove from Tucson and we stopped in Deming. We were able to stop and show some people the car and then when we got to El Paso, we were actually part of the, uh, the El Paso, KB, uh, the NBC team came out, uh, the Fox team came out. I mean, it was actually... Okay, so um, so once you get so once you so once you get to where you go, so how you guys so how you guys set this up? You know, like where it says someone drove from California to Tucson. Do they? Do you guys like get a text message on your cell phone, or they call you and say, "Hey, where are you? Are you are you ready to drive or so so far?" Well, what we did was we had a very planned out schedule, and what we wanted to do is we we, we actually had an internet in the car, so we actually could you know email and we could keep in touch with our with our, our co-workers through that way so it was quite convenient uh, what we wanted to do is make sure that we were able to get people on schedule and we ran into very few flaws at all okay so this um internet besides did you guys have like uh, somehow had video or audio to let you know where you at or if you're if you're running a little late or you get there a little early and so forth or there's traffic we, we actually filmed quite a few uh you know while we were driving we were giving people live feeds so we could give them an idea of where we were we were talking about the trip uh in certain cases we, we turned the camera around and give people an update so when people could follow along on the, our website if you went to teslamotors.com Okay. You can see on the trip, and actually has some video clips and also some great pictures as well. Okay, so this took what? What is it? Eight? Did you say eight days? Uh, no, actually, the trip the trip took. Um, it started a little early, like in, in uh, started in late Jan in late December, and we made it here in in, in uh, so it took a couple weeks. The idea okay. wasn't to be fast. It was just it was trying to get in situations where we could give more people a, a closer look at an electric vehicle, particularly this one. Okay, did you guys show about the college students, high school students? College students, engineering students, uh, giving people really kind of a, a, a pump for actually being a part of engineering. So it was actually good good for that too. Okay, cool. Um, just, got, just got a couple more questions. I'll let you get back to you. Is there any, was there a person who drove this to Michigan here today? Uh, Andrea's going to be here tomorrow, but no, she was not. She, she was, she's not here today, but she will be here tomorrow. Okay, so she drove this from Michigan to what, Chicago, New York? We went from uh, Grand Rapids to Detroit, and you can see, we can kind of final follow out where we went. Okay, I see Springfield, no, no Springfield, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri. And, and, yeah, she, I, see, she, I see Chicago, okay. And then, okay. And then I came up through Grand Rapids to Detroit. So it was actually okay. a very, very safe and very good drive for us. Okay. Well I'm, well, I'm glad you said you made the trip, especially you made the trip just in time before we had the winter storm here, the late winter storm, so to speak. Right. Well, you know, and that's also another thing we really wanted to show is, as you can see in Springfield, we actually did run into some snow. Really? Uh, we ran into some snow in Oklahoma, and we ran into, we, in Chicago was actually had some snow, too. Uh, okay. Yeah, so, I mean, what we, and that's why we left the car as dirty as it was. We wanted to show that this is a scrappy car that isn't going to be, you know, something that people will think, oh, well, you know, like, the range is going to be an issue. So okay. I think
Okay, well, thank you so much, Rick. I'm good. And what well, great to make sure. I'm glad to see you guys made the journey safely. And uh, you're welcome. Check out more coverage uh, here at our website at AmericaGI.com, Detroit's number one website.